James Kyle Paisley, father to Dr. Ian Paisley, was a gracious and zealous preacher whose heart was always stirred with the message he delivered. He was born in 1891 in a small farmstead in Northern Ireland. Saved at age 17, he began training for the ministry almost immediately at a Baptist college in Dublin. He became a well-respected Baptist preacher and a staunch Protestant who stood for the truth of Scripture in the face of intense opposition. The more he was opposed, the more he preached. And the more he preached, the more he excelled in winning men to Christ. His preaching was stamped with the power of God. His son Ian Paisley remarks, I remember as a boy going to hear my dad preach in a tent in Bali. As we came out of that tent and passed up the laneway of the field, I heard men crying as they were kneeling in the ditch, crying to God to have mercy upon their souls. It was revival. It was a moving of the Spirit of God, a great moving time. Though no recordings exist from those early days, Someone did record for us his voice in a message he preached shortly before he went home to glory. Every Christian rises in the morning to begin life anew, to walk with God every day, to walk with God every hour, to walk with God every minute, and there's great in a sinful world to walk with God every day. Every year. Yes, to walk with God. We face the burdens of life, the responsibilities, perplexities, disappointments. But we have God with us. He had walked with God, and he was up for God to him. He was obedient to God. He was in fellowship with God. If we walk in the light, as he is in the light, we have fellowship one with another. And the blood of Jesus Christ, his Son, keeps on cleansing us from all sin. He is obedient to God. We walk in fellowship with God. And it's a great thing to walk in fellowship with God. And the peace of God that passes all understanding shall keep your heart and thine through Jesus Christ our Lord. That's the Christian life. Empty of all self, and full with God the Holy Spirit. There's grace and strength from God. There's an old hymn that sums up what I'm saying. When we walk with the Lord in the light of his word, what a glory he sheds on our way. While we do his good will, he abides with us still, and with all who will trust and obey. Trust and obey, for there's no other way to be happy in Jesus, but to trust and obey. That's the Christian life. 